Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's um, another Bedini motor. I've been doing a lot of work on these this um, past year and um, have a, a whole new circuit for you guys to check out. Um, it's actually the bipolar switch, which is a Bedini coal switch. Uh, this is the full bipolar switch um, that you actually need um, two different trigger wires like you saw in my last video. Um, and this one is just the single, so this is basically like a half half H bridge. Um, but this one's a little nicer because on this one, uh, you'd have to tune each one while it's running, and, and you have two separate circuits, so you can't really do um, what you can with this one. Um, this one actually runs really strong and stuff, but you got to kind of set the resistors and go from there. Where where this one, um, I designed it to where you could tune the pot and everything just like a regular Bedini circuit. Um, so this one has PNP and NPN so whenever this switches um, it switches both polarities so you have um, your negative side of the coil and positive side of the coil so every time these turn off the coil is completely isolated so you can actually do a true loop back so here's our run batteries these are lithium iron phosphate and then um, they split off right here so we have output and input coming out of the same battery so and then this has a full bridge rectifier on it and um, has a, a little tiny transistor that triggers the bigger ones and um, you could find this um, all over the internet there's quite a few variants of it and stuff like that but um, I made mine a little bit different to where I could tune it easier and, um, and it works really good um, I mean Right now this is what we're using and um, this is what we're putting out so it's 600 milliamps you know on the analog scale uh, back to the run battery while it's running and these are our waveforms so you can see it's got quite a few pulses so right now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 14 plus pulses uh, per magnet and these are neo magnets. I know most people don't like them, but for me they work perfect and um, They're nice and small you get a lot cleaner waveform and they're small enough to where they don't saturate the core uh, much easier to mount less bulky and uh, Yeah, they work really nice. So this one this is just a single stack some of mine on the more powerful ones have a double stack But you have eight magnets on here all North Pole and then on my coil um, this one was designed for the double transistor so it has two power wires and one trigger wire so these are both just in parallel for this circuit um, so like I said these are switching each side it's not two separate systems it's one system working together and yeah runs really smooth really quiet and uh, right now it looks like we're using about 50 milliamps or so uh, even with the little fan going and we're doing uh, 600 milliamps about every three seconds so pretty neat so let's uh, turn this thing up so with my circuit um, like I like to do I I tune these a lot um, how it's set up right now is is pretty much all opt optimal it just runs and runs around but uh, a lot of people like to bring them up to resonance so we could do that so I'm just decreasing the resistance till we get one pulse per magnet and um, then once it gets to one pulse then I slowly increase the volt the resistance till it's max speed which is about right there so now we're using 300 milliamps and pulsing back 600 milliamps about uh, once a second or so. And you can see how the battery kind of sagged a little bit. So even though this is probably um, your best speed, best performance, it's not really uh, regenerating the, ba the battery like it did when I first had it tuned. So yeah, so this is considered resonance. I, um, I prefer multi-pulses myself to get a lot more energy back but um, it runs real nice like this as well so this is probably right around 
50% energy return or more. And um, if you do it the other way, it goes up pretty high. So anyway, I um, added the circuit to my store. So check out my store, kenergy.store. And this is a direct replacement uh, for this particular motor. This is the newest one that has my name on it and everything. Uh, it just fits right in there and you could try this as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, definitely one of my favorite circuits because you could charge separate batteries or go back to your original run battery or um, do a lot more experiments. And um, this circuit can actually go up to 48 volts. Uh, you just have to change this out and change out some resistors um, to go up that high because um, you have to restrict it a lot. But um, at 48 volts it uh, has some spectacular effects going on. So. Yeah, if you guys purchase this, um, you just have to request you know the information for 48 volt running, and I could add that to um, the order. And um, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it.